All right, so I've started to build a shooter game, and right now when I click on the shooter, that bullet will start shooting up. Okay, I want to just make you know refine this a little bit. I want to make it so the bullet does not appear at all until I click on on the shooter, and then you know right now when it gets to the top, it just kind of dies there, and I want to make it invisible once it gets back to the top. Okay, so to start out when the app begins, that bullet should not be visible. So you'll notice there's a visible property for this um, image sprite and I'm going to uncheck it. Okay, now we can't see the bullet. You know, in the component designer, you notice there's this little checkbox display invisible components in viewer. Okay, so now now we can see our bullet. You know, so this is just in our UI designer. Notice in the in the app, you know, testing and when it's actually running that bullet's not going to appear. Okay, so when the app starts, the bullet is not visible. Okay, now when they touch the shooter sprite, that's when we want to enable the clock so the bullet will start moving. But we also now need to first make that bullet visible. Okay, so for every property, of course, there's a kind of corresponding. Um, block and I'm going to set the bullet dot visible to and of course I want to set it to true so if I go to the logic grab a true true block you don't want a text block you want a boolean true or boolean false so when they touch the sprite set the bullet visible to true and then get that clock going so it goes all the way to the, all the way to the top okay so right now here's my app uh, no bullets showing, but when I click on the shooter, it appears and then starts going. Okay. Last thing I want to do on on this part is is I want to make that guy disappear. Okay. So when the bullet hits an edge, I'm going to make it invisible. Okay. So uh, let's see. So bullet, um, I'm going to want to make bullet dot visible to false so I'm going to grab a logic and make it false and I want to do that when the bullet reaches the edge okay so if I go to bullet and go back up to the top I can see his events and notice his edge reached event and this is going to happen no matter what edge left right top or bottom that I hit in this case the only one I'm going to hit is the top because I'm shooting shooting up Okay, so I'm going to grab the bullet edge reached and make it false um, visibility. So let's restart our app. Um, okay, so what we think is going to happen is the bullet will be invisible to start because we set that in the component designer. Um, when we sh shoot or when we click on the shooter sprite, the bullet be will become visible. We'll enable our clock and so it'll start shooting. But when the bullet reaches that top edge, we'll make it invisible again. Okay, so this should show up with just the shooter. Okay, the bullet's not visible yet. Okay, when I click on the shooter, we should see the bullet. There it goes, and when it's the top, voila, it goes away. 